hello and welcome back so now let's just quickly add a health bar to our enemy and to our enemy drone right here let's click on this canvas as you can see we have this whole canvas for our player health what we can do we can simply duplicate that and let's rename this to enemy canvas and in here we don't want the profile so if you go in there let's click on this profile let's delete it and that's it so now let's go ahead and put this on our enemy okay we will put this uh, right here on the enemy head the enemy canvas right here in the canvas we need to change this from screen space over there to world space now as you can see we can move this canvas to wherever you want but if you make this that uh, screen space overlay then as you can see we can't do anything so make sure to make the render mode to world space so our enemy canvas is basically a physical object now and if we go inside the 2d mode and check it out as you can see this enemy canvas is a lot more bigger for adding this to our enemy head so what we can do click on the enemy canvas and right here let's change the scale to for example 0.1 0.1 and 0.1 now let's focus on it let's change the position of this canvas to 0 0 and 0 let's click on it if we change this to now 3d mode we have canvas right in there Okay, let me just move back again. And right here, let's select both of them, make the position Y and the position X and 0. It's still outside the canvas so let me just drag and drop this inside our canvas now so we need to move it to the center actually so if we click on this let's make the anchor presets as middle and center and now let's just move it to the center point so we will click on the move tool and then drop that in there now as you can see it is in center you can actually click on this help bar click on this anchor presets press the all button and click on this middle center and now it is fully in the center of the canvas now let's select the entire canvas and resize this according to the help bar okay that would be accurate for this now let's move this like that so now as you can see our help bar and our canvas is the same size now if we go inside 3d mode let's move our canvas up okay here is the canvas we want to show this on the enemy head okay as you can see it is a lot more bigger so we need to scale it down again to 0 0.01 0 0.01 okay 
let me go inside the to-do mode again okay everything is set up let's go in 3d again and you will notice it is a lot more smaller now let me move that there let me check this in the game view okay it is still much bigger you will see so what we can do we can resize this no more to 0 0.001 0 0.001 and 0 0.001 now let's check it out okay it seems a lot more smaller so the final value for this will be 0 0.002 0 0.002 and 0 0.002 and guys your value can be different from mine okay so you can set this and according to your game now as you can see this size is enough for our enemy canvas okay all of the things are in the same place now we want this help bar to move around with the enemy so what we can do we can simply drag and drop this inside the enemy and actually first of all let's move this right here to the enemy head okay and let's change the rotation y to 90 okay and then let's now put it on top of the enemy head like that okay and if we check the scale of it as you can see it will decrease like that now what we can do we can simply click on it and drag and drop this inside the enemy so now wherever the enemy move the helper will move with the enemy okay Now, if we open up this help bar, as you can see, the help bar is already attached in the slider as well. And we have the help bar script already set up. So, now in order to make this help bar work, we need to assign the player head to this help bar and also the damage value as we did for the player. So, in the enemy script, right here in the enemy health and damage we will say public health bar let's name this health bar and we will assign our health bar to this after this when the game start what we want we want to give the health bar the maximum health and as you can see when the game start we need the maximum value for the health bar as you saw in the previous uh, video for the player health we are assigning the player health to this function which is skip full health and this skip full health is right there so right here we will say health bar dot skip full health and let's pass the enemy health variable for this and if you check the enemy health variable it is 120f so the maximum value of the health bar slider will be then 120f okay this is the so same logic as we did for the player so uh, we don't need that much explanation for this one now so this was the first step for our uh, health bar slider we give the full health to the slider now now what we want to do when we hit the enemy we want to decrease the health so for that in the enemy hit damage after we take damage we want to also decrease the slider value so we will say health bar dot set health and the set health is this function in which we increase or decrease the health bar value so what we say 
that health bar dot set health and let's pass now the present health now let's just simply save this get back to unity now if we click on the enemy as you can see we need to provide the health bar right there so in the enemy canvas drag and drop the health bar there now let's play the game let's get closer to the enemy let's try to hit him now and as you can see his health has been decreased for so now let me just disable this enemy draw okay we just need this enemy let's go inside the enemy canvas as you can see now the maximum value is one and now you will notice that when the game started will be 120 as you can see it is 120 now let's go ahead and shoot the enemy whoops let me now as you can see his health is 90 and you can see the health bar decreasing let me get closer to the enemy now as you can see now the enemy is dead and now he is gone so now we can give damage to the enemy and also his health bar decreases and as you can see when we shoot him his health bar decreases and then he eventually dies this looks really beautiful but as you can see the only problem with this health bar is that it doesn't rotate when you move around the enemy as you can see it just stays in one position as you can see and then it just disappears so we don't want that we want this health bar to rotate when we rotate around the enemy for now it is rotating because the enemy is rotating as you can see so in the next video we will rotate this health bar according to our main camera so if our main camera is facing like this then the health bar will show in front of the camera and when we move to the left or the right side then the health bar will rotate accordingly so with this done see you guys in the next video